Warsaw. We like to grow high. We like to see things from a different perspective. Warsaw is one of the tallest cities in Europe. Eleven of the tallest skyscrapers in Poland are located here. Warsaw. We like to move. Every day, around 100,000 people commute to Warsaw to work. Almost as many come for business. Last year, almost 120,000 aircrafts landed at or took off from the Chopin airport, taking on board over 9 million passengers. Warsaw, it is hard to believe that only a couple of years ago, in this place, set the largest Europe's bazaar. During its demolition, 2 million tons of rubble were to be removed from the site. We like to play. We like to watch others play. We want our children to learn what the fair game is. Now the Warsaw's new national stadium, getting ready for the Euro 2012, can accommodate 70,000 spectators. Warsaw Stock Exchange is older than modern Poland. It opened for the first time in 1817. After the communism fell in Europe, the Warsaw Stock Exchange reopened in 1991. We like to learn. We like to play. At the Copernicus Science Center, children, young people and adults can have fun and learn at the same time. We like to combine modern and old. The Warsaw Old Town is actually new. It has been rebuilt from ruins after the war. The Mermaid in the middle of the square is a symbol of Warsaw. We like to have fun. We stop only when we have to. Even at night, not all of us sleep. Warsaw is alive from dusk till dawn. Its nightlife is considered one of the best in Europe. Night is also the time for culture. The night of the museums in Warsaw attracts all alls. Warsaw, we stay awake late at night. It is hard to say how many high schools Warsaw exactly has. New private institutes raise each year. The University of Warsaw is one of the oldest Polish universities. Founded in 1816, it has gained its reputation as the best university and a leading research center in Poland. The main campus of the University of Warsaw is in downtown Warsaw, in Krakowskie Przedmieście Street. Its historic palaces were nationalized in the 19th century. Kazimierzowski Palace currently houses the University of Warsaw Rectorate and the Museum of the History of the University. The University of Warsaw employs over 6,200 people, including 3,240 academic teachers. It is proud of many famous alumni such as Friedrich Chopin, as well as five Nobel Prize laureates. The University of Warsaw educates almost 54,000 students. Many of them are really beautiful women, so watch out! The University of Warsaw has grown too much to fit into the historical buildings. New, modern campuses, housing mostly sciences, have been built in several locations around the town. At the Computer Science Department, we explore not only theoretical, but also practical aspects of information technologies. Here you can see brain-computer interface helping people who lost their ability to control the muscles. Using such an interface, people can communicate with the world. I'm the proud author of this interface. Warsaw was the first city in the world to open a public library in 1747. The new building of the University of Warsaw Library is located between the Vistula River and the main campus of the university. Its architecture is dominated by reinforced concrete, glass and steel. Warsaw 
Warsaw's most beautiful garden is located on a roof of the University of Warsaw's library. Open every day, almost till dusk, it is the best place to admire the city's panorama. We like to move. We like to look forward. We have told you about Warsaw and about the University of Warsaw. We are not going to tell you about the contest. You know it better. You've been in it since the beginning, starting with the local contests held at the universities. You have won with over 30,000 finest students from over 2,200 universities from 85 countries on six continents. The 336 of you came here today. You know that you are taking part in the oldest, largest and most prestigious programming contest in the world. The ACM International Collegiate Programming Contest is also an opportunity to visit new places, to meet new people, to learn about the world. But its core, the five hours contest is a hard work, blood, sweat and tears. You also know the joy of winning. The teams of this year's host, the University of Warsaw, have won two championships in 2003 and 2007. It is our success, says Professor Jan Made from the Faculty of Mathematics, Informatics and Mechanics, director of the ACM ICPC World Finals 2012 and the chairman of the organizing committee. Our programmers don't look for jobs. The problem is which of the many work offers to choose. The very first ACM International Collegiate Programming Contest, ICPC, took place at Texas A&M in 1970. It was a small meeting then, but it grew fast. Since 1989, when the contest has been headquartered at the Baylor University, the universities from all over the world started to compete in bringing to the finals the brightest minds. We hold our fingers crossed for each and every one of you, the city of Warsaw, the University of Warsaw and our patron, the President of the Republic of Poland, wish you good luck.